Okay, before I start to show you how to integrate the two systems, I'm going to show you what I have so far. Um, before we get started, though, I do want to let you know I have no formal training. I have I have no education on programming or or Unreal. So everything I learned, uh, I learned through YouTube videos, self-taught type stuff. So I'm going to show you how I did it, but that in no way means it's the correct way, the only way, the best way. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown to show you how I got it implemented. And uh, later on, probably later this month when uh, 5.4 comes out, I'll do a full tutorial on, on how to do it. Um, but again, I, in no way is this the absolutely perfect way. But this is, this is how I got it working. All right. So all the attachments, they all pop up with the, the name, how to pick it up. Um, so right now I'm going to go, don't mind the zombie. I'm going to pick up a bunch of shit, put it together and show you what I got going on right now. Alright, so everything works. Everything looks just like it does with uh, Jigsaw's stock. Um, I haven't changed any designs or anything yet. But you can drag and drop things on there. You can take it, drop it here. Um, I have modified a, a few things. For example, when I put the barrel on, you'll see the muzzle pops up. Um, I can put... I can drop the compensator either on the barrel or on the muzzle. Then same thing with the suppressor. Handguard still has lots inside of it. And you don't have to do it this way. You can drop it straight on there. Uh, so this this site has a has a rail system on top. All right, so everything works um, in the inventory. These are some of the SKG um, functions, so the pitcher and pitcher kind of thing, um, changing different sites. Uh, it it goes pretty fast, but you can you can change let me see. You can change what hand is holding it, so right now this is right hand holding it. Left hand holding. Left hand's not in the right spot, but that's left hand holding it. So um right now he's holding the rifle uh like hip firing. I just haven't updated the animation. Um, but it has collision. If you hit a wall, it'll put it away. You run into per uh, a person, it'll put it away. Um, laser light. The scope has a zoom. You can hold your breath. I don't have it in, implemented into like the stamina or nothing like that yet, but let me go quiet this guy though, because if you look uh, at the ammo count, the ammo count goes down. The can't really see it, but the muzzle glows smoke uh if i take the suppressor off oh apparently there's no sound now okay well either way i'll have something i'll have to fix later
All right, but uh, yeah, and it also works for the jigsaw weapons. Uh, I don't have any of the socket, uh, the other sights. So like how we turn the M4 to the side, I don't have any of those set up on this one yet. But the hands, uh, he does change shoulders. However, I don't have the animations put on there yet. There's the sight. No, oh, helps I grab ammo and stuff. Don't mind the turning of the gun. That's again, that's just an animation that I haven't updated yet. All right. All right. So uh, we're gonna start with the character first. Uh, I am not gonna go through all of the SKG um, tutorials that he has. His his tutorials are very very good. Um, I'm not going to show you how to import like the animations or the procedural uh, and uh, the anim graph stuff. All right. Um, I'm just going to show you how to get it working for, for your character. All right. So um, first thing we're going to go over is um, the components. So you need to add the SKG shooter pawn. Um, you need to add attachment manager and that is it for the actual character. Um, once you add it, make sure you fill out, um, you know, the, the correct mesh name, the camera name, stuff like that. All right. So The way to get the uh, the SKG components to activate, uh, like once you equip a weapon, um, if you go under the animation and hotbar, um, go to the request change slot macro, and you need to add in the clear and held actor, and then Clear actor and that was it for this one. Um, basically that's gonna that's gonna set the actor so that's gonna set the weapon that you're holding um, and activate it for the components. And then under the server function, change active slot, you have to add uh, the shooter pawn component and then set held actor. That's going to set it on the server that you're, you're holding that one. Um, as far as... Yep, so so that's it for that one. Um for for the ADS, I didn't use any of the jigsaws um ADS. Basically I um uh, I just used uh, SKGs uh all the SKG ADS components. So there's start aiming, stop aiming. Um, the steady aim. So basically, when you, for me, when I hit left alt, it'll it'll stop the sway, or it lowers. It doesn't actually stop it. Um, and then whatever you want to use. I mean, if you want to use the infrared controls, you can put it in here. Um, these are all the like zoom in, zoom out, brightness. Um, I 
don't have the third person turned on, so I just remove the the input for that. Uh, under movement, this is how you can uh, stop the sway. Oh, I didn't do anything there. All right, so for shooting, that's a uh, that's a that's a bit longer. Um, that's there it is. So basically, I just copied over. No, nope, never mind. I didn't use that one. Okay, so I added to the jigsaw shooting. Um. Under local shooting, okay, here it is. Under the fire bullet, that's where I implemented uh, the SKG shooting. Um, however, that that doesn't quite matter. You can do it however you want to. Now, here's where it gets complicated. So to add, when you add a component to a weapon, um, it goes to the jig pickup component under the process attachments. I added, I created a function at the end. Inside the function, basically it's, it's getting the owner, it's getting the attachment manager, and then it's getting any compatible attachments um, for that, that weapon. Uh, I'm, I just have it displaying name, and then it tries, uh, tries set up existing attachment without adding um, a mesh because Jigsaw ha handles that. Um, as far as removing it, this is definitely, I haven't, haven't quite worked on it. Um, this is what I kind of have going on. Um, but yeah, this, this still needs to be worked on. I think that's about it for that. Um, as far as the actual items go, um, so you'll you'll have, you know, your 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 normal blueprints, um, like these right here. And then from that, let's go with, uh, let's go with the barrel. So I have 14 inch barrel. And I don't, um, none of these SKGs need to be here. Um, I, I haven't gone through and cleaned it up yet. It, the only thing that, that really goes here is nothing you don't change anything on this one the local attachment that there it is the local attachment the one that actually gets attached to the weapon um, on that that's where you'll put your skg components whether it's uh the muzzle um muzzle muzzle devices um see what other ones there are the optics a good one um, you'll set up uh, SKG uses the scene capture for for the zoom um, you'll set up the procedural aims you'll set up um, you know what whatever component 
SKG component you want to activate, it'll go underneath the, the local attachment. Um, it's important to do two things, though. So anything, so this is the, the, main, the main part of the weapon, the lower receiver. Or, well, I guess technically just the receiver, but um, for like sights, for example. If you want to add sights, you need to make sure you add the compatible attachment um, and then add the, the local attachments to that. If you don't add the local attachments, whenever you put a weapon on the, or put an attachment on, the weapon won't, re won't recognize the attachment unless it's in here. This is how it determines what's compatible. Um, let's see. Got the attachments. Um, any, any code that you want to add, you'll add to the local attachments. So let's go to the flashlight, for example. So under the, okay, so that's, that's jigsaws. Under the local attachment, that's where you'll put any additional code. So like turning on the, turning on a flashlight, a laser, strobing it, um, you know, what, whatever you're trying to do, that's where the code will go. That was, that's also where like the effects will go. And then also the components. Um, as far as jigsaw is concerned, if you're using the jigsaw weapons and there's the, the jigsaw parts, and there's not much you need to do. Um, if you're using the rifle, if you're using the shotgun. However, if you're trying to use the, the SKG stuff, um, you'll have to set up your own widgets. The special containers. Um, so, like, for example, um, SKG's weapon has a charging handle. It has a barrel. Um, so you have, to, you have to add all those separately. Uh, I'm not going to go into that uh, right now. Um, Jigsaw has a tutorial that, that, that kind of shows you how to do it. Just make sure that you, you add or you update the supported items for whatever you put on the charging handle uh the barrel um yeah um beyond that though i mean that's that's pretty much everything to it um if you have any questions i mean feel free to ask um again though i mean i am not a professional i'm sure there's a hundred better ways to do it than what i did but this will get you get you started at least um yeah that's uh that's everything again uh if you have any questions hit me up and i'll see what i can help you with um but what you pretty much covered everything right now um when three well, not three when uh 5.4 comes out uh later on this month i will probably do a full tutorial on how to implement it um including this the skg like animations and stuff because um, i got out to start all over anyways all right well thanks i hope that helped